Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, has ordered the arrest and detention of journalist Rotimi Jolayemi, also known as Obakewi, over a poem read during a radio program the minister considers critical of him. Before the journalist turned himself into the police, the minister ordered the arrest of his wife, Mrs. Dokas Jolayemi, and two of the media practitioner's brothers, John and Joseph, who were all locked up for eight, nine, and two days, respectively. However, since the journalist turned himself in the turned himself to the police headquarters in Ilori, Kwara State, on May 6, 2020, he has not been charged to court or granted bail, in, instead being subjected to inhuman treatment at the orders of the Minister of Information. While condemning the situation in a statement on Monday by its national president, Dr. Sage Obayuwana, the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights said, the, said that the detention of Jola Yemi was unlawful and detestable. The statement partly reads, The Committee of the Defense of Human Rights is alarmed at the continued detention of a journalist, Mr. Rotimi Jola Yemi, said to have been arrested at the instance of Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, on account of a poem read over the radio considered critical of the minister. It is worrisome that Alaji Lai Mohamed will have a hand in the arrest of wife of the journalist, Mrs. Dokas Jolayemi, and two of his brothers, John Olaliri Jolayemi and Joseph Toba Jolayemi, who were kept in detention for eight, nine, and two days, respectively, while the journalist was being sought. Furthermore, that even that even since Mr. Jolayemi suffered himself, surrendered himself to the police headquarters in Ilori, Kwara State on Monday 6, 2020, is still being held to date without being charged to court or granted bail. The CDHR condemns in totality the violation of rights of Mr. Jolayemi's wife and brothers whose liberty were taken away from them for no other reason than being relations of Mr. Jolayemi. The continued detention of Mr. Jolayemi by the police at the instance of Alaji Lai Mohamed is, a tant is tantamount to punishing a citizen for the expression of his opinion. This is not justifiable in uh, Nigeria today. We demand the immediate release of Mr. Jolayemi, a public apology to him, his wife and brothers, and payment of compensation to all of all of four of them. Hmm. Media aid to the minister, Mr. De Leye, while contacted by Sarah Reporter, said the Honorable Minister of Information and Culture did not order the arrest of anyone. Kindly direct your inquiry to the appropriate authorities. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, Lai Mohammed has denied, according to his, uh, his aid, his media aid, that they should direct the question to the uh, proper uh, the proper uh, quarter where who is the person they are supposed to ask now because of course before they arrested those people they must have told them they must have told them we are arresting you based on this based on this on that because you cannot just arrest somebody and put the person inside whatever inside detention the person must know what he has done so now that they are telling us that a live woman does not know um and it was as a result of the poem that the guy read on radio that a uh, Lai Mohammed felt insulted because they cannot just come and arrest you. They will say, You did so, 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 and so, you did so, so, and so, so you are going with us to our station. That is what they usually say. They cannot just arrest you and keep you there, they will not tell you anything. So now that uh, Lai Mohammed is denying because they must have told the man and his family that this is why we are arresting you. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? You know now that they are, he's trying to exonerate himself, but I don't think he's going to exonerate himself. That is just the way. I see the whole thing, but let's hear what Nigerians are saying because definitely Nigerians must talk, they must say something. Just you are going to be saying what you feel about this whole thing as well. Some say this is not democracy from all ramifications. Everybody under this administration, be it commissioner, minister, messenger, or even ordinary clerk, is power drunk, therefore, has the right to order the detention and imprisonment of anybody. So sad. What a country called Nigeria. I want to see the poem. We are in autocratic 
government for demo not democracy at your old age keep it up god is waiting for you this is a this is condemnable act and we should all stand up for condemn to condemn it and face like Muhammad squarely is such power intoxicated in a lawless country like ours when as opposition he insulted good lord jonathan and jonathan never raised a voice back or ordered the arrest see foolishness now but he's denying it of course he can't deny it because those people know what they are talking about they know why they were arrested in the first place i mean the wife and the brothers now the the husband the the main the main man that read the poem you know is in detention of course they know why what they are talking about someone once said give power to a man then you will see the beast in him lie a lawyer has become a terror to journalists to journalism taking people's fundamental rights at will just because he's a minister who knows should he become a governor tomorrow he will be carrying bomb. <laughs> oh my God! This was said. He will carry bomb in his pocket to be thrown at the direction of whoever that criticizes him. Oh my goodness! If he did not, then let us know who did. Of course, this is denied that he's the one. He's not the one that ordered the arrest. Then who did? In the APC government, everybody has become laws and commanders. <laughs> this old, this old man is acting. Senai, he should be kind to himself by resigning and out of public view. Lie, Mohammed, you cannot be in power forever. Whatever you do now, we get, you will get it when your time is up. So enjoy your power when it lasts. Why it lasts? As long as I just listened uh, to his poem, it was recorded in Yoruba. The journalist was quite confrontational about the sufferings before, during. And the lockdown and the person alleged to have detained him wasn't the only one uh, mentioned in the poem hmm. it seems i committed a grievous crime in my former life and sending me here is the best punishment for it okay somebody say he listened to that poem and a lot of people have been looking for that poem to even know what really happened uh what he actually said there someone says be uh, what best liar award from 2015 the date uh, he wants to silence them or to convince them to be doing evil. How can an ordinary information minister hold someone to such of such position in unlawful detention together with the family without taking them to court? What an arrant nonsense in a country without focus and the president and the chief justice of federation is are uh, keeping quiet over this this abuse of rights of their citizens. It is not today now. Have we not been have they not been doing it and they've been getting away with it? And what has what has anybody done? If people talk, they will start saying, Oh, uh, why would you say such a thing? Why would you do this? And that is where we have found ourselves. A lot of people are complaining now, but when they are supposed to talk, they will not say anything. Someone says, Sue the minister now. Okay. Can he do this to his full any man? This is an abuse of power by the minister. Like Mohammed, all his actions since his appointment are from minima to zero, a day of reckoning uh, beckons. Nothing justified the detention of the journalist and his family family members. If the journalist has cast aspersions on Lime Mohammed, what he can do is to sue him for defamation of character, assuming he has won. To detain somebody for what is thought is not only overreaching but reprehensible the case of the journalist's wife and brothers is grossly grossly unlawful the administration of criminal justice acts make, makes it unlawful to arrest and detain members of the family of somebody who has committed a crime you can imagine is it not the same thing they will tell you uh, bail is free bail is free but is it really uh, free in the actual sense the same thing with all of these things they have been getting away with it and thank God that uh, this uh, particular guy that they detained, that, that uh, DSS detained, that they accused the guy, or was he a collier or something, that he, he used, he used uh, the uh, president's daughter SIM card, that the guy did not know who used it. He just went and purchased the uh, SIM card, and, and that was it. But now, I don't know whether they're going to pay the guy 10 million naira, but the court has already ordered DSS to pay the guy 10 million naira. The way they detained that guy for how many weeks? Ah! 
if I'm not mistaken, is it not 10 weeks? Or, well, I think it's, it's more than 10 days. I think it's more than 10 days, not really 10 days. Well, yeah. So it's a very, very long time they detained that guy. So the same thing can still happen. You know, these people, they don't really learn. But now that uh, Lai Mohammed uh, uh, media aid is saying that uh, they should direct the question to the appropriate uh, uh, quarter to go and make an inquiry. Because like I said, no, they are not just making this up. For the fact that three people were involved before the person that they said the alleged committed the, the crime, before he showed up, three people were 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 apprehended. So they didn't they didn't just they just apprehended them without telling them what they did or what the person that committed the alleged allegedly committed the offense without telling them what the person did. No, it is not possible. So they cannot just run away from this. And a lot of people have been talking about it that they really need to do something about it and you cannot come and say oh because somebody uh, is criticizing you then the best thing is to detain the person the best thing is to sue the person and not even just keeping people there whosoever that is even involved in keeping all these people and arresting somebody who has not committed the offense just like uh, we know in the law that is how it ought to be but reverse is the case in most cases so guys let's hear your opinion concerning this are you do you think that Lai Mohammed does not know what happened or some people are just being overzealous uh, on his behalf. Leave your comments below and let's have your take.